her talks about this one. This is single-handedly the most important thing I did when shopping. Let me tell you guys something that a lot of people don't know, okay? Come close. The only thing that you should splurge your money on is... Let me tell you how you can save money. Are you listening? people my name is peace and welcome back to my channel so on this channel i help y'all thrive in high school so you can easily transition into college and then thrive there too now this video is more on the transition into college section okay so how can i help you thrive on the transition into college i have a lot of videos about this but today is gonna be how to save money okay i repeat how to save money while dorm shopping. Yo, yo, do me a favor and watch this video before you even think about dorm shopping. Like, please, 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 please. College dorm shopping is so expensive for no reason. And people are flocking to Bed Bath & Beyond, to Target, all this place, which is nice. But then, oh my God, you put five things into your cart. Now you have $1,000 in the hole. No, no, let me fix that. Let me help you make this very stressful, very hard, very harmful to your pocket time of the year easier and less harmful to your pockets. Let's talk about how you can save money while dorm shopping. How to shop for your college dorm on a budget. And I'm a bougie and a budget queen. So where else do you want to learn this from? Take a seat, baby. Take a seat. <laughs> let me put you on to get to what I've learned. I am a rising junior at Howard, so I've had to move into my dorm room. I've had to move into my college apartment. I've had to move a lot, and I learned a lot during the way that I want to teach, that I want to impart onto you so you don't learn the hard way like I did. So yeah, college is expensive as it is. So if I can help you save money on like the dorm stuff so you can actually have more money to, I don't know, live, that would be nice. Plus, can talk about all these halls that we see. College dorm hall, which is nice, which I love them. Some people are buying stuff like they don't have a budget and they most likely don't but that's not the case for every single person and i want to acknowledge that but i'll split this video into things to know before shopping and things to know while you're shopping and i have about 21 ish tips check the timestamps below but i recommend you watch it in its entirety i have a video about the ultimate college packing video coming out so be sure to subscribe for that be sure to subscribe for more videos for my back to school series and for my college advice videos without further ado let's get started Part one, things you need to know before you start shopping. Number one, look at the rules that your college has on things you're allowed to and not allowed to bring. Because if you spend money on a fridge, on a table, and oh my God, not allowed to bring, you just wasted so much money. And I'm here to make sure that you don't waste money. So be sure to check what they allow or not. I know for certain schools, they're like, oh, we don't allow trunks. We don't allow Keurigs. We don't allow this. And then you go buy it don't do that so be sure to check beforehand but i love saying if you fail to plan you plan to fail so i don't want you to fail so be sure to plan ahead so number one was know what they allow and what they don't allow but number two know what they actually supply so you don't buy it as well so you don't have double like don't buy a bed or a bedside table if your school already provides it kind of thing or like a mirror or like a mini fridge stuff like that that the school sometimes provides that you don't actually need to buy yourself so don't number three Take inventory of what you already have in your house. Oh my God, this is so important. So you don't go buying things again. Look around your house at things that you already have. Like if you have extra lamps, you can take that to school. If you have extra tapestry or the tapestry you already have in your house, take that to school. If you have like a chair or a blanket, stuff like that that you already have that you don't need to buy, just reduce, reuse, recycle. Like we learned about when we're growing up. Look around your house. To figure out what you have and what you don't have number four once you've looked around your house so you know what you have and what you don't have number four make a list of the things that you don't have so that you're like okay you can go there with the list and when you go shopping okay I, I need this check it off i don't need this i want it but i don't need it i don't need it so go to your store and check it off check it off check it off with the list that you created because you thought it had because you watched this video number five speaking of wants and needs set a budget and separate the wants and needs okay i need this i need you know mattress cover i need pillows i need this i want this i want this extra sparkly fluffy tapestry i want this extra 
expensive decor. I don't need it. I want it. So be sure to separate your wants and needs because that makes the world of a difference. And be sure to separate it on your list as well. Number six, coordinate with your roommate so you can save money. So like you can be like, okay, hey, hey girl, hey bro. Um, I can bring this and you can bring this and I can bring this and you can bring this that way we can use it together and we don't have to, you know, have two of the same thing in the room. So we don't have two trash cans in the room. So we don't have two toilet plungers in the room. Let's do one or the other. Let's save some money. Now, keep in mind that this can be iffy, okay? If you and your roommate have a falling out, if you guys are not as close as you used to be, if you guys, you know, get each other's nerves, you guys start fighting, which me and my roommate did, which anyways <laughs> but you know once things are not so good not so hot they may be petty which my roommate was and don't want to share stuff because it's their stuff oh i brought this rug we're not cool anymore so you can't use it oh i brought this toilet paper oh i brought this trash can uh we're not cool anymore uh snatchings <laughs> so that coordinating things people always say that and i kind of sort of agree with them but at the same time you gotta be careful, okay? Because you never know what could happen. Yeah. <laughs> like, let me explain. For me, my college room in my freshman year, she brought, like, the bathroom stuff. And, um, you know, she kind of furnished the bathroom area. So she had, like, the little rugs and stuff like that. And when we had a falling out, she literally... <laughs> okay, because we had a falling out, she was like, oh... <laughs> let's be petty so like i said she brought the rug the bathroom rug so when she wants to shower she literally put the rug on the ground and then when she's done showering she roll it up and put it somewhere else so i couldn't use it <laughs> like i said some compliments can be iffy so you don't want to experience that and if you don't want to experience that be sure to check out my other video of questions to ask your roommate before moving day so you're not dealt with the hand like i am i was to say yes yeah, you guys can share stuff keep in the back of your mind that like in case this thing goes left I need to have some money to set to the side or something so I can get it myself, you know? But that's my personal experience. Number seven, have a graduation party, but like actually have a registry. Like actually be like, oh yeah, grad party. By the way, um, if possible, can you get me, you know, mattress topper, a blanket, get me, you know, chairs, tables, dorm decor stuff, you know, so like they don't get you useless things at your grad party. Send them the registry or ask for cash so you can do it yourself with the tips that I have for you guys, especially for section two, okay? So ask to have a grad party with registry so people get you the stuff that you need. So that takes some money, that takes some load off your shoulders. Take some load off your shoulders. That's all we want over here. Number eight, be careful about your timing. Sometimes for certain stores, things are cheaper right now because a lot of people are not trying to buy things. You know, people aren't really shopping for dorm stuff right now. But when August beginning starts coming around, then the craze is going to be, you know, everyone's going to be shopping like crazy. So time it perfectly. So right now it can be cheaper, but also... Sometimes they say that they're closer closer to the day of moving date. Things are cheaper as well. But I'm with you about that as well because it's kind of like the Black Friday kind of situation where they hike the price up the week before. And let's say like this makeup brush or something was like originally $10. Then they'll hike it up to $20 the week before the sale, right? And then I'm like, oh my God, it's a sale. Before it was $20, but now it's $10. When it was originally $10 the whole time. Be careful about that because... Yeah, so we're sure to iron the prices so you can catch them. Be like, um, so this is a, what you call it? But this is always this price, but, um, receipts, catch them. The ninth way you can save money before actually shopping is you want to ask, like, mentors, ask friends, ask upperclassmen, because they're most likely selling their stuff, especially people who just graduated, because why else would they ever need college dorm stuff, you know? Speaking of big sisters and mentors, be sure to subscribe to my channel, because I'm your mentor, I'm your big sis. But yeah, like, ask around in chats, or Facebook groups, or Facebook marketplace, or stuff like that, where people are selling old stuff, you know, college dorm stuff. Go ahead and get it for a cheap discount price. The tenth thing you must do before actually shopping to save money you have the price check first oh my god this is single-handedly the most important thing i did when shopping most times in store is more expensive than online i repeat 
in store yes you want to get a feel of everything but in store is more expensive than online why because not with in store with others brick and mortar businesses they gotta pay for rent maybe mortgage maybe electricity bill maybe water they have a lot more expenses so they're gonna hike up the price a little bit so they can profit more so in person most times is more expensive than online keep that in mind before you go in person i know you want to feel everything so let's say you check on bed bath and beyond bed bath and beyond website and you're like okay this is ten dollars when you go in person and then you see for twelve dollars like mm, mm. so now you know okay this is twelve dollars i'm not gonna pay for it right here i'm gonna go back home and pay for it online you feel me also be sure to take pictures of the designs and the prices because i don't know about you but dorm season shopping for stuff like that it's a lot and you look at so many different stores and different websites and stuff like that and it's a lot to remember so you can take a picture you don't have to remember your phone will so you take a picture oh yeah i really like this design i really like this one and it's from this store too it was the cheapest one too because the price is here and the name is here and this and this because you took a picture of it because you listened to my tips uh, Come on. Some common popular stores to check for college dorm stuff. Dormify. Dormify is so expensive for no reason. I never had it, but I look at the prices one time. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, mm, yes, maybe good quality, but those prices are like, for what? Like, what? No. So, Dormify, a lot of people shop at that, but it's, it's very, very expensive. And because this video is, you know, college dorm shopping on a budget, I do not recommend at all. People shop at Target, Bed Bath and Beyond, you like the little thing. Walmart, Amazon, Ikea, Hobby Lobby, Ross, Marshall, TJ Maxx, those kind of discount stores which have really good quality stuff for cheap. Check those places out. Home Goods, this is just the popular ones. You don't have to like, you know, go to them only. And that's where a lot of people go to that you can get some cute things. Also, if you go where a lot of people go to, you may get like duplicates, you know. But I mean, that's if you guys are going to the same school. So otherwise it doesn't really matter. Also, a little Target tip. Come close, come close. Oh look, I have the little, you know, red, silver, but it can look white, <laughs> Target colors. But come close, for Target tip, you guys ready? Let me tell you guys something that a lot of people don't know. Okay? Come close. So, go to the Target website. You with me? Make a registry. Then, then and only then, after a week of you signing up for the registry, you get 15% off. I think they're still doing that. They should be. But, check it out. Get a little 15% off coupon and make some money. Okay? Okay, so that was my 10 tips to save money before you actually go shopping. Now, the other 10 tips, 10-ish, of money saving tips are things that you have to keep in mind, things that you have to do while shopping, while in store or online. You have to do it while doing that, okay? So if you like this video so far, be sure to like this video, be sure to comment down below what school you're going to, be sure to share with a friend, be sure to subscribe for more videos. So let's go to part two. Also, if you thought of something yourself, like comment down below so you can share with other people. But also, if you're a college student and I forgot a few tips here and there, please, please, and please drop it down below. Like, help each other. Let's help our fellow incoming freshmen. It's a lot. Let's make them transition a little bit smoother. Tips while you're shopping. Number 11. The only thing, I repeat, the only thing that you should splurge your money on is bedding. I repeat, the only thing you should splurge on is bedding. That is it. Nothing more, nothing less. The beds in a college dorm are not the most comfortable. Some people have compared a college dorm bed to the bed in a prison. Now, why? An 18 year old child will know what a prison bed feels like. Your guess is as good as mine. I kind of sort of don't even want to know. But <laughs> all this is saying that a college dorm bed is not the most comfortable. So be sure to splurge on things that will make it more comfortable. Things like what piece, you may ask? <laughs> Great question. Also, keep in mind the size for most beds are twin XL. Most, not all of them, but most. Okay. So what you should splurge on, what you should have good, high quality things. The foam mattress topper. I repeat, foam mattress topper. You put it on top of the bed and it makes it more comfortable. It gives it more oomph. No? Oomph. I hope that made sense. The mattress cover. 
once again, this bed have been there for a good minute now, okay? They've been there for years, maybe decades. Things have happened. <laughs> the mattress cover provides a layer of support, a layer of cleanliness <laughs> between you and the bed. And you put that on top of the mattress topper. Also, sheets, pillow, comforter. I mean, for those ones who don't have to touch too much, I mean, a pillow is a pillow. You can get a good pillow anywhere. Sheets. Some people are like, oh, I want the thousand thread count sheets, stuff like that. It's sheets. You're probably not going to be in your bed for too long. So, I don't know. Sheets, yes. You can splurge on those as well. Blankets and throws. Okay, I'm not going to lie, y'all. You can get some good blankets and throws anywhere. But if you want to splurge on that, you can. Because, like I said, the bedding is very, very important. Also, you can splurge on, like, a backrest pillow. As a college student, you're probably going to be doing your work every and anywhere. So most times, I know myself included, I had a backrest pillow and I would put it like on my bed, the headboard or near the wall. And I can be, you know, do my work. Laptop here, my back is, you know, comfortable. I don't want scoliosis or anything like that, you know, at 18 or at 20 or whatever. So be sure to have it. Okay, so number 11 was things that you can splurge on. Number 12, instead of buying ready-made bedding, like those bed sets that already come in a set, they have the comforter, they have the pillows, different kinds of pillows, they have the sheets, they have the fitted sheets, they have everything. Instead of buying the ready-made ones, you can actually, you can actually mix and match them to create your own. I repeat, you can mix and match them to create your own. Plus, it's more personal, no one else will have it, and most times it's more cheaper too. <laughs> okay and that's the point of this video i know that's what i did for my college apartment and it worked out it was beautiful it's funner it's cheaper and it adds a personal touch what more do you want number 13 when you're in store ask them to price match a lower price that you saw at another store they don't want to lose customers especially right now where a lot of this brick and mortar stores they're kind of losing customers people are not really shopping in person anymore so if you're like oh bad bath with me y'all you're selling this brush for like ten dollars but I saw this for $8 at Target. Hmm, maybe I may have to go over there. Do you care to price match it instead? They want your money. As a lower customer, so they lower it and do it. And they can price match a price that you saw in the store or on website. So don't be afraid to ask. I know it can seem a little bit nerve-wracking. I, I know, I know. But don't be afraid to ask and just do it. Like, you want to save your money, who cares? <laughs> Number 14, if you're an online shopper like me, even more importantly, if you're an Amazon addict like me, let me tell you how you can save money. Are you listening? This is how I developed an Amazon addiction a little bit. Uh, yeah. But this is how I developed how to shop smartly on Amazon. So there's this person on Twitter. His name is Fat Kid Deals. Fat Kid Deals. And oh my God, he has amazing deals. He has like, I don't know, 500,000, maybe a million followers on Twitter. And essentially he's an amazon partner so he has a special link and he can make the different things discounted and whenever you buy stuff from that site with his link he gets a little commission so it's a win-win because you get your thing for cheaper and he gets a little commission everybody wins everybody hates chris sorry guys life so literally go to his thing and i'll show you guys the screen recording right here but literally go he said oh you want to buy this rug it was once 30 dollars but now it's 12.99 buy it now and you go buy it also if you are a student i repeat which you most likely are if you're watching this video or it could be student parents hey but if you're a student you can sign up for amazon prime student i repeat amazon prime student that's what i did the summer before my freshman year and you get your first six months free you don't pay anything six months that's literally the whole of first semester who it helps you during this whole door moving stuff and all the first semester and then afterwards okay after you pay half the price that a normal amazon prime person would normal amazon prime person who's not a student would pay like 12 dollars or something 12.49 you would pay 6.49 after the first six months for free and all you gotta do is sign up with your school email so for me i go to howard so then i sign up with my howard bison email you know now i'm sorry if this you know <laughs> sparks your amazon addiction but i mean is it really bad though <gasps> yes for your pockets it is <laughs> but yeah save some money use that guy he's amazing number 15 when you're buying stuff 
try to find stuff that are multi-purpose i repeat multi-purpose so it's like two in one you get two things for the price of one so for example you can have a nice little pretty vase or vase however people say it i say vase but you can have a nice little pretty vase and it's pretty it can use for decorations but oh my god you can also put your makeup brushes inside it multi-purpose or this one get an ottoman which i have which i love it's used for storage right you can use it for storage and put stuff in it to like store like you know clothes or laundry stuff or whatever i put like things like lotions and stuff like that lotion and deodorants and shaving stuff there for mine but get an ottoman where you can store stuff and and it's also a seat i repeat it's also a seat so you open it up to put stuff in put it back on and you can actually sit down and that's an extra seat for you or for your guests or for whoever or get one of those like full length mirrors that are mirrors like you know full length you can see your whole body and everything but they're also jewelry organizers so you can open them up and see a jewelry i bought my mom one so i'll put a video here number 16 sometimes it's easier and smarter and cheaper to actually rent instead of buying for example like a micro fridge you can actually go buy it but most times schools partner up with different companies and you can actually rent it for like a semester or for a year and that's what i did actually we rented out the micro fridge because you know cheaper or whatever and howard partnered up with this company i forgot their name but we both had a lot of stuff so she had a mini fridge as well and i had a mini fridge as well so <laughs> in our room we had three mini fridges so it was mini fridge under her bed a micro fridge with the microwave and a fridge that we both shared and i had a mini fridge under my bed yeah if it wasn't because we had a lot of stuff i probably wouldn't have bought the mini fridge under my bed basically a lot of stuff otherwise i would say rent not buy but i mean buying is also good too you know you can always have it for the following year and stuff it's really up to you <laughs> okay number 17 shop for bargains ooh, ooh, ooh. shop for deals shop for coupons stuff like that and i have a video specifically about that, a couple videos stuff like decor stuff like organization that's where you must get those stuff on a bargain because those things can be pricey a little bit, a little bit, a little, you know, you know, a little, it's a ching, you know? So, no, no, don't go do that. Shop at a bargain. So, shop at stores like Dollar Tree. And I have a video coming out where I take you guys, like, dorm shopping on a budget at Dollar Tree. Like, be sure to subscribe for that because it's coming out really, really soon in the next week or so. Dollar Tree also go to 5 and below. And everything is 5 and below. I have another video about that. College dorm shopping at 5 and below. Also, subscribe for that. Plus, if you go to all these bargain stores... A lot of people are going to like all those big names like Bed Bath & Beyond, all those Target, stuff like that. So if you go to the bargain stores, which a lot of people don't shop at, your stuff is more unique. Your stuff stands out more. But you could actually also go to those big name stores. But to save money, go to the clearance section or the like the sales section so you can save some money. Be sure though to not put that whole sales tactic on you where they hike the price up and then bring it back to the normal price and then call it a sale. Be sure they're not doing that. But other than that, definitely check out the sale or clearance section. Number 18, make it, DIY it instead of buying it. Sometimes you see the best beautiful thing. You see this really nice, cool design or this decor. And it looks amazing up until you see the price you're like ooh, ooh, ooh. so why don't you make it for me i love diying things oh my god i love it i'll include some clips and some pictures right here but i absolutely love it a couple months ago i made a head sign with you know stick where you can hold your loved one's picture on it i saw it online and it was like 40 50 dollars i'm like no <laughs> no so i'm like okay this is easy i can make this so i did and it turned out pretty damn good and he loved it. I actually made a video about that so be sure to check it out. I'll link it up here or down below. Or if I don't, check it out in my channel. But it was pretty, 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 pretty good. You use apps like Pinterest, TikTok, and do like hashtag college dorm room, college DIY to get some ideas. Like I said, it's cheaper, funner, and more personal. Number 19. If you want to buy, buy secondhand. So go to like places like Facebook Marketplace, eBay, yard sales, places like that where you can get it for a cheap because they're trying to get rid of it and you're trying to get it. It's a win-win. Plus, for some places like this, you can actually like negotiate the price and get a lower price. So let's say it was originally like $100. They're selling it for $40. You can negotiate it down to like $10 or $20. A deal upon a deal upon a deal. We love to see it. This is a big one. 
No one ever talks about this one. Number 20, use your student discounts. Oh my God. Listen, as a student, you actually get some perks. There are actually some benefits to it. I'm gonna make a video about this separately. Places and things you can get for free or cheap as a student with student discount. But literally, as soon as you get that ID, as soon as you get your email, whip it out. Like, like that little TikTok trend. Damn, what is that, bro? <laughs> Oh, do you take student discounts? Oh, do you take student discounts? Student discounts? Discounts? Student discounts? Student discounts? Get your money! <laughs> okay, I mean, college is gonna take your money, so try to get some back. So for me, I always to whip it out like crazy, like whip it out, like student discount, student discount, because uh, save some money, but also because, you know, I gotta have it when I to rep my school, whatever. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, you get a discount as a student, so be sure to utilize that. Number 21, if you're trying to figure out which stores have discounts, check out this app website called Uni Days. And it tells you like literally all the stores that have student discounts with your college email. So sign up with that for all that good stuff. But yes, those are my tips on how you can save money while dorm shopping. Dorm shop for cheap. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff. If you made it this far, you are a real one so be sure to comment down below the little house emoji so everyone else can know that you're a real one too and without further ado until next time peace out